out with all bright we love to draw Kushin doing amazing things, right? We can take this 3D toy and draw it um, and create all kinds of fun adventures, okay? So today we're going to do a hamburger. So think of a hamburger. Uh, think of the space you have to fill on your paper. Don't go off here and then expect your hamburger to, to fit on the page, okay? So let's just have our hamburger, uh, let's just mark our placement. I basically want my hamburger right there, okay? That's it. So I'm going to put Pusheen on the top. As an artist, it's really good to visualize where um, objects are on the page so you have enough space, okay? Don't At the top of the hamburger, I want to draw a nice rectangle. I want Pusheen to be about that wide and let's say about this tall okay you have your you have your rectangle you have a nice rough sketch we're just lightly as light as you can sketching that on the paper okay we're not we're not cutting into the paper by drawing real dark so the front of the pusheen we're going to have him laying down or her excuse me and we're going to curve okay do a nice curve right there you with me good the top of this let's put a nice big um, ear. Let's do a triangle, but round it out at the top. Do you see how I have that? Do you have an eraser, a nice eraser at the top of your pencil, or one standing by? Hopefully you do. Good, good, good. There's so many out there. Nothing is, nothing is a bad eraser, right? Unless it smudges your art. Now let's decide we're going to curve between the ears right here, just a little tiny curve. And then let's go up again and do another ear. Two ears. One, two. There you go. If you have two ears, give yourself a high five. Yes! I'm going to erase the lines between those, or actually under the ears right there. And let's just clean up as we go. How's that? That way we're not messy artists, but we are sticking with our, our program here. So we have the, the two ears. Let's take from the ear and let's go back. Okay? Let's curve just slightly toward that back line. Easy, easy peasy, right? Easy peasy, that's it. I'm going to just use easy peasy for my word today. Now, I don't want him this long, so I think I'm going to take him and curve down and curve that end. Do you see how I did that? Instead of going all the way to this end, let's just round out that, that rear end just a little more. Since we have this one laying down, if you notice on my unicorn, Pushinicorn, it's rounded down here. So let's make sure that we round this out. Okay, while we're here, let's notice the eyes and the whiskers and all the little details on this. Note, we won't be doing all the extra stuff around here. Okay, we're just going to do the regular old Pusheen. Got it? You got it? Awesome. So we have a tail. Let's come down just slightly and let's give a nice curve up round it and come back down just a little bit of a tail yeah you like that now you like cats you like cats I love cats they make me sneeze though so I have to be careful how many times I I snuggle a cat let's go ahead and work on the details of this cat because then we're gonna get into this hamburger and we're gonna get lost um, and we're not gonna want to go back up we're gonna think about food so the little marks up here on the head we're gonna do a giant U and color it in a giant U make them skinny and color them in do you see how skinny I'm making these because you have to have three to fit in this space if you're not confident yet do it real light do it as light as you can that way you don't cut into that paper okay that's that's a huge tip huge tip you can get it right here for free now right underneath that we're going to do an uh, upside down U okay that's going to be the nose and then we're going to curve out on both sides and that's going to be the little mouth okay now round it out go up kind of looks like a mustache like a mustache a question do you like drawing pushing push with me I hope you do I hope you do all the collection all of my collection. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool to have a Pusheen collection? Now in the middle of the ear, drop down. That is the, the secret to where the eye is. Okay, draw a nice circle and then fill it in. Boom, there you go. Now you can add reflective dots. We have in the past, but this is a big eye. 
So we added the reflective dots. This one is so tiny, I think we're just gonna skip that today. So middle of the ear, come down, add the eye. Oh, I went off on a different space, where am I? Middle of the ear, down, there we go. I went over a little too far. I even cut into the paper, that's okay. That's okay, still looks awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now we need the whiskers. Remember, anytime I'm going a little faster than you, or like what I just did, I wanted to redo my eye, um, and I'm moving faster than that, you can just pause, okay? Just hit that pause button, um, or go back. So we have two whiskers over here. On this side, we're gonna come down from this ear, and we're gonna do whisker here, and a whisker here. They're just giant letter C's, that's all. Giant skinny, skinny letter C's. Ta-da! You are doing amazing. Look at you. Yes! We are just cruising on this Pusheen. Now back here, let's do the big letter U's. Just two of them. Just two of them. Hopefully you've done a Pusheen before. If this is your first time, well, welcome. You can always do so many more Pusheens. Um, I don't know how many we have so far. How many do we have? Have you counted how many Pusheens we've done? I know at least six. I'm just going to guess six. Now this one has three stripes curving that curving that line right there. Making sure if it's a round object you're curving that. We want them to think this is a round tail. So you've got that much? Good. Go back with your teeny tiny eraser if you've got it and clean up whatever lines you want. When I zoom out, it's not as bad because <laughs> you can't see my detailed lines. Ah! You like it? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Down here, we've got the big um, sandwich, right? The, the uh, hamburger button. That's what we're doing, hamburger. Um, so let's go ahead and have where the feet are curved over. So let's go down here, and then right about here, let's curve there too. So we've got the two little front legs. The back legs are hanging over the back, so we're not even gonna notice those. So from here, we can curve down just a little, connecting those. Cool, you like it so far? Now, since she's sitting on the bun, we want to go up and down. Do you see how I did that? From this leg, up and down. Good, now go ahead and clean this up. Nice. Looking good, guys, looking good. Okay, so for the bun, we're gonna come from this angle right here and we're gonna curve down. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing, but let's leave a big chunk right here out because we're gonna have a bite out of it. What do you say? At least that's what's on the emoji, right? <laughs> okay, so here, curve this, and then we're gonna go down and up. Good, connecting it just like that. Now, why do we leave this weird? We're gonna have like little zigzags for teeth marks, okay? She just took a big chunk out of that and she's sitting up there chewing on it. <laughs> That's funny, super funny. Underneath that, we have to have the lettuce. I know if you don't like lettuce, still put the lettuce and enjoy this drawing. So we're gonna start on this side, wave it, just do nice wiggly lines Think about your, your spacing between the lettuce and the bun as you go around it. And then at the end, bring it back. Ta-da, good job, good job. I'm liking this, this is doing good. Now we have tomatoes. Do you like tomatoes on your hamburger? I'm gonna curve here. We're gonna make it really small. Curve it up here. Well, not that big. I don't want that big of a curve. Let's just do a slight curve that good now let's connect let's put two tomatoes on so another one over here these are pretty small tomatoes I guess but I'm, I'm just looking at the um, emoji we're trying to make it just like the emoji okay then we have a slice of cheese oh yeah even if you're lactose intolerant cheese on an emoji is really awesome <laughs> now cheese is this one's gonna be square so notice where the middle is I'm gonna put my finger there and draw a nice light line and I'm gonna bring, um, let me get my arm out of the way. I'm gonna bring it down to a point. 
Okay, just like that. Ta-da, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, instead of going straight, I'm gonna curve up and down. I'm gonna do that over here too. Curve up and down to a point. That's a pretty good way to do that. Draw your guidelines and then do your curves. That way we know we're doing a good job. Now let's put the hamburger, okay? They have it kind of squiggly. So if you wanna go ahead and block in where your hamburger is, let's let's have a pretty big size uh, piece of meat here. I'm gonna come down like this and put it all here. That's a good piece, but if you wanna go an extra step, you can give it some texture by getting it some wrinkles, some waves, right? Up to you, this is your hamburger. It doesn't have to be perfect. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? I like I like a little texture on my on my creations. And the last part is I know we have this line here. I'm gonna go ahead and erase it because I want the freedom to make this look really good at the end. We're gonna have a bun curving on both sides, and at the bottom, you're just gonna curve just slightly and then back up. What do you say about that? Score! We totally have it. Now let's add some sesame seeds up here. Not too many. We don't want to overwhelm and take away from the cute pushing at the top because this hamburger is pretty big, right? Now you can take your colored pencils or your fine tip markers and have fun with this. But if you don't have um, those things and you want to leave it like pencil, then go ahead and think about your shading. Okay, think about opposite the light source. My light source is usually on the right. That's where my lamp is when I draw, so I'm, I have the tendency to go on that side. Now, most of you might have a stomp. If you don't, grab that Q-tip and you can just blend your pencils um, drawing right here and shade this, okay? Blend it, smoothing it out, taking your time, doing a really good job because the, the Q-tip doesn't get good in the in the nooks and crannies like a nice point on a stomp. Okay, think about that when you're using that um, really cool Q-tip. I'm going to take what's on my stomp and just go underneath the pusheen, give a little shading down there, and then let's just go ahead and shade a little bit of our our hamburger here. Now, if you have um, a parent's permission, you can post your drawings on my Facebook page, Art with Albright, and I would love to share that and see that with our Art with Albright community, okay? That would be really awesome. So thanks for drawing with me. I'm not going to put a horizon on this because I like to cut them out and make them my little puppets. So if that's what you want to do, awesome. I mean, way cool. Or if you're like one of my students, Cooper, Cooper, hey Cooper. You might even want to place Now that's something that I can see on my Well, continue your awesome adventures with Pusheen and let me know what else you want to draw, right guys? But until then, 